For Lindsey Pendleton, this is his natural habitat. You know, I grew up outside. I love the outdoors. You know, I was one of those kids that would be outside from 9 a.m. to dark. And when he's outside, he usually has his camera with him. I've always enjoyed taking photographs. And he especially likes taking photographs of wildlife. All right, here we go. From birds to bears. In fact, it was a chance encounter with a bear in eastern North Carolina that started him on this path. A black bear stood up and she had a birthmark on her chest in the shape of a heart. Um, and, you know, it was just, you know, she just stood there on her two feet for probably 15, 20 minutes and we just, you know, shared that moment together. And I was like, this, this is me. This is what I want to spend a lot of time doing. And he has taken a lot of pictures of bears. And this one might be his favorite. We left our house at 2 a.m. because it's a four hour drive. So we got there right at dawn. The sun was coming up. It was already 200 degrees. So it was, it's orange, it's sweaty, it's muggy, it's nasty. And this black bear, young black bear comes out in the middle of the road, uh, trail, whatever. And you can't see any detail in the bear. So it's like a perfect silhouette with the orange light hitting it from this direction. And it's just, the photograph is nice, but the experience attached to the photograph is you know, what makes it my favorite. He also spends a lot of time down east during the annual waterfowl migration. We have the largest population of migratory snow geese and tundra swans uh, anywhere. Whether it's focusing on birds down east or the elk in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, his photography is his way of answering the call of the wild. That's really it. I mean, at the heart of all this is an excuse to be outside and, uh, and to see. I mean, you know, you wouldn't see these things unless you went out looking for them. In Davidson County, looking for Roy's folks, Chad Tucker. Foxy News.